Hey guys, welcome back to StarCraft, and got a couple of things to do here. Um, okay, so as for air, um, I mean, any combination, void rays will work, carriers will work. Uh, I mean, I don't use Corsairs, but whatever. Any combination of these units, um, it doesn't matter. Uh, just, just something to basically roll over the map eventually at some point, uh, but just something to sink your gas into, essentially. Uh, as for this stuff, I don't know. I use Energizers, uh, either Energizers or Havocs, whatever you like. Um, I mean, I'm going to play on Dragoons probably for the last micro, make it easier for you. Because we're going to actually make a couple of ground units. Nothing from the robotics, just Dragoons and probably Sentinels with some Energizers. Uh, the rest of this doesn't really particularly matter. And I'm just going Carrier for Flavor of the Month. So, there's that. And for the next guy, uh, this is this is the important stuff that we're going here. Okay, I still prefer orbital simulators, uh, particularly for this one. It saves on a couple of uh, uh, it saves a little bit of time with regards to gas and, and shit like that. Like uh, you don't have to have probes on and you can mine from it immediately. I still think it's the best thing in the game, uh, but whatever. Uh, I think it's OP as fuck. All right, but. Regard, regardless of that, um, what we're also going to do here is we're going to take off Reconstruction Beam because we have the carriers that also re repair mechanical units, so this isn't very synergetic. Uh, instead, we're going to put on Guardian Shell. And the most important thing you need to put on is Time Stop. This is the most important thing for this mission. Uh, it makes it extremely easy to, to do this entire thing. Just, just trust me, do Time Stop. Uh, and also, I mean, Phoenix is pretty good, so I guess just put keep Phoenix on there. And we're also going to put Chrono Surge on there. I did actually find some use in it as well. And I think that's pretty much all I wanted out of this, so... Sora Lance is also very good. Like, basically everything you, d you see here that I have, I think it's all very good for this mission. Um, so, I mean, as I said, do as you will, but that's my combination. Now that the Psy Matrix has fallen, Amon cannot warp the Golden Armada back to Ayer to defend himself. We must destroy his host body before it fully awakens. For the sake of our people, we cannot falter. Ah, oh, fuck. What do Carrick's do now? It seems to do a lag spike. I think it's loading something during these cutscenes, but I'm not sure what. Maybe the level. Eh. So this is Amon's host body. An abomination made from the flesh of our brethren and the Overmind's carcass. Indeed, Hierarch. My sensors indicate his form is consuming void energies at an alarming rate. In this state, even our most powerful weaponry will have no effect upon Amon. These shards, they generate void energy. Drain life around them to feed his host body. They must be destroyed. The land near them has been destabilized. It's almost as if he's terraforming the area, turning it into the void. Wait, the shards are opening rifts, summoning entities to defend them. Then we are 
ready your blades. We fight for the future of Ire. Oh. Apparently I really want to see what was down there. Alright, we're gonna let this guy happen. The void shards must be destroyed if we hope to strike at Amon's host form. Fight well, Templar. Alright. This is actually not too hard of a mission, but don't run outside just yet. Give it a bit of time. The void reflects my will, and I will your destruction. Amon is continually opening rifts to protect the shards. We will need to attack before the defenders become overwhelming. You actually have more time than you think. Uh... It's just that they're not they're not actually that bad and time stop is just amazing. You want to have that up as well So we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for three warp gates We're not gonna build anything for like no dark templars or dark archons nothing like of that sort um, The void shards themselves are kind of interesting. Uh, it's these buildings right here uh, They only count as structures so building something like dragoons where they do more damage versus armored They don't count as armored so you're actually not to be honest, like, Zealots is actually one of the more cost-effective units you can make in this case. Um, it, it, de it depends. I mean, technically, Reavers would be really good against them, because uh, Reavers do bonus damage against structures. However, we'd have to build a robotics facility and a uh, um, uh, the robotics bay as well. And, I mean, that's a lot of investment, and I need to make a pylon right there. We're gonna make start making more gateways because we're getting kind of close to our limit here. The investment isn't worth it, especially because we're not gonna use reavers for the remainder of the mission. We're just using them to kind of to like we'd be using it just for this first one because this first one also has an expo with three gases. So we just all, all we're looking to do is clear clear it out in a cost effective way, and the first one is the easiest one to clear out. However, we can't just march down here with this; it's too much. We need both Phoenix and Time Stop up. That's just how it goes. But you'll you'll know when you're ready to go. There's gonna be like a nice big attack that comes for you, and then you can go out and uh, screw them up, basically. I don't know where to put the rest of these pylons. Like one right here. Apparently they have ghosts now. It's actually more effective against light. Ah, oh, and here's Zerglings. This will make uh, some zealots here as well. I'm gonna be making a lot of dragoons and a lot of zealots. That's that's the composition we're going for here. But the time stop is gonna be amazingly useful, and you guys will see. And we should probably make the forge. Yeah, make the forge and probably another pylon. We're about reaching the cap with regards to our units here. So, we just gotta make more units. I mean, we're just gonna pump out everything we can. We need additional pylons. Kinda like I said we would. There we go, another energizer, and then a couple more dragoons, and a couple more zealots, and that's it. And then we're good to go. I will break the cycle of the Zell Naga. Artanis, I am detecting a large number of void entities inbound on our nexus point. Get ready to defend. This is the big attack I was, I was referring to, and after this, you can pretty much just head out and pretty much just wipe the floor with them. I have returned. This large attack of void forces. You have not enough minerals. In case you're wondering what it is. But when, once we're in the field here, we're going to just get constantly attacked, and also it slowly drains the health of your units as well when you're in there, so. Uh, not a very pleasant experience uh, to be in there. That's why we kind of do a bit of overkill with the amount of units we have here, and then we just go ham. Alright, I think we're pretty much ready to go. So we're going to start with one Stargate. And we got, they got some tanks there. Alright, we're going to start heading in in just a sec. I'm going to just get like one more... Maybe two more of these guys. Now we're going to start making probes again. Alright, let's get in there. So, get ready to just dump Phoenix somewhere in there and... I guess we'll just stop time. So now we're just focusing down this 
nice building here. And uh, where's these guys? I'm gonna also bring some more zealots in. Really, nothing but focus is down. I could not care about anything less. All right, and now I'm gonna also make a leech beacon, but I can't. Oh, I did die, by the way. <laughs> well, I wasn't looking. This is a cool guys don't look at explosions uh, kind of game. All right, let's start. We're we aren't pressing forward actually. We're, we're not. We're doing no such thing. And now we don't actually have to build ground units anymore. Uh, in fact, these can just fuck off and die. We, we, we actually just literally do not care about them. Uh, but we do need a nexus. So, actually, I'm going to stop building that probe just so we can get this out ASAP. And then we can get some more geysers and we can mine those immediately. Incredible. All right, and we got our first fleet beacon, and we could actually start making carriers, but we're gonna wait on that just for a moment, just because I don't have enough resources. All right, here we go. Uh, stage with one HP, clutch. I kind of, I don't like moving my forces down there. Like these guys will just defend this base now, and so what I normally do is I just kind of send that um, a giant ass attack to just deal with it eventually, occasionally. The, the large laser beam that you see. We're making a bunch of fleet beacons. We can make arbiters as well. I mean, might as well start with that, I guess. No point not to. Artanis, there are several locations surrounding Amon's farm that would serve as excellent forward outposts. Clear out the enemy, and our forces will provide you with additional support. And let's go hockey all these guys. Alright, let's go get one more guy out now, and we're gonna actually start sending these guys down here to start mining. You have not enough minerals. We have not enough minerals. Don't worry, we split our probes, it's fine. We also have to start working on the air upgrades as well. So, it's just primarily kind of an economic opener here. Three Stargates I found was absolutely fine for maintaining the amount of uh, guys that we need, and we aren't rallied. For the amount of probes that we need to get all this working, and I'm gonna just chrono that guy now. And probably we're gonna start doing this one. It's just the perfect amount, and now we need to start making uh, the legendary pylon farms of ire. Legendary pylon farms, guys. Oh man. You stay right there. All right. Oh man. Yeah. You, you just wait for the carrier to come out. He'll he'll teach you a lesson. Oh, we can maybe that. Tracking multiple flying entities heading for our nexus point. Sounds like we need carriers pronto. Let's do that. This is where we use our chrono boost for a change, and also we need three more probes. Oh boy, here they come. Right up to my arbiter, it's up here. There you go. So look, we did use chrono surge after all. It is truly a Christmas miracle. gonna be some shitty ass uh, flying fleet that comes by, swings by. Let us proceed. We'll let them do whatever they want. Where are they? Oh, what's going on? He's attacking one of the interceptors, as you can see. You know, I wonder if you can mind control these. That's probably not something I should be asking myself right now. I'm gonna assume not. By the way, they will repair each other. They will repair themselves. So as you can see, oh, look at that. Amazing. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to actually just have them hover here, because a lot of these guys are wounded. Which is the great utility of these units. And why we decided to go this kind of strategy. And look at it, we're almost, like, capped on supply and everything. I mean, you know, we can even go, like, hey, let's fucking chrono this one. Why not? And look, now we're healing, like, all these, uh, these guys as well, even though we don't want them to live, really.
Did we, did we finish healing them all? Look at that. Like, completely healed. These are like the best carriers, honestly. Or sorry, the best units uh, overall. But we are we are good to go now, so we can actually just kind of uh, start our little assault. I'm gonna make a, another arbiter though. I like I like two arbiters to be honest. But we're just gonna have them all kind of rally over there rather than all my units. So look at this, what we do. We we basically create these landing sites and then they're gonna send in units kind of to distract. Oh, look at this. This is why I like these guys because they're not affected by like a lot of the bullshit and I don't know why why did this guy get irradiated unit takes 20% extra damage and these guys will just continue to kind of cover that cover my bases over here as we require more investment gas ah here we go there we go Remember, the, the mini-map is like your rear-view mirror, you know? Don't leave home without it. Actually, why would you leave home without your rear-view mirror? Why would you do that? Alright, and now that we have an abundance of minerals, which does happen at some point. Oops, no, we have to redo that because of the feng shui. Well done, Hyra. My Nerezim are establishing a position now. And probably just make the rest of these pylons over here somewhere. I don't know. There you go. What happened? In, I think I lost a probe somewhere. It look, looks like I did. All right, and here we go. We have a little, uh, little assault group that's joining us now. We're gonna just ignore them. They're just gonna go die. Who cares? I mean, maybe they'll handle. Actually, you know what? You guys can go help. You now have a job. We're we're, we're totally not looking at that to help. Yeah, which which reminds me, we should now make cannons over here. Since we're sending off our forces over there to the suicide. I mean, to be honest, they're tankier than you think, anyway, so. Just kill that thing. Thank you. So these guys are kind of immortal. Because they're just going to heal themselves. It looks like my forces aren't dying like they're supposed to be. We're, we're doing carrier things. Just carrier things. Hey, wait, I have one. I have too many here now. What the fuck? Thanks, Amon. Move carefully, higher. Destroying a void shard has increased the strength of the remaining four. Rift detected. Expect another onslaught of void entities soon. But that's how we solve our issues with supplies. We just let them die. Establishing purifier fortifications now. We follow you to war, Hierarch. To war. Hey, five bucks. This is something I can just kill with my uh, my little solar lance beams. I'll give you five dollar Reno's. Hey, what, did, do you guys not even care? Yeah. Dude, medivacs and zerglings? Is, is that even legal? Is that even legal to do? No worry, these, I'm sure these buildings have it. There you go. We're sending Phoenix. And now we time stop. We I mean, don't have to do this for every single one. This is just the one I chose to do it for. Because our carrier force isn't that strong yet. But it made it a whole lot easier, as you can see. No, not the carrier. Actually, he's not going to die because uh, we have the invincibility shields. Ah, uh, stupid Colossus. Oh, not stupid carrier. Carriers are fun. You know, probably we could have had an extra Stargate. I could probably still make that, to be honest. I have a little bit more than I originally anticipated. Alright, so now that that's clean, uh, here's what we can do. 
Let's get up here. And just make some defenses. And you can make a base there too. Because as you can see, this one's eventually going to run out. But, I mean, not soon enough, so... Oh, hey, we got a couple more carriers. At least three. At least three more carriers have arrived. Uh, we have actually a shit ton of research to do. There we go. Okay, we're good now. It's unfortunate those warp gates are kind of just sitting there now, but to be honest, look at our mineral count now. They, they pay for themselves. And that's how we deal with that. Now, now that we have a whole lot more carriers, I, I'm pretty sure we can just go, go in there and kind of just fucking wreck them, but I don't know, we'll see. Oh, is this? Oh, that was a stalker or something. Oh yeah, they're stalkers. That's right. The void shards are growing increasingly unstable. Engage them cautiously. We do not fully understand their power. Purifiers, go forth and purify. There we go. Now the interceptors just gonna deal with it. <laughs> I like that little ring they make around it. It's fucking adorable. There you go. They're dealt with. Wow, we are really lacking in the interceptor department because the ravens keep killing them. And now we lost. Actually, no, we're not. Never mind. I completely mis mislooked at the, the the amount I had. I thought it said 42. And I know you're supposed to get like 100 or something. Yeah, because they remake it pretty fast, you know. All right, this should be all pretty good. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to kill something else. Do we, do we need this many arbiters? Probably not. Let's let's send two probes to die. I, how many? They take six supply, right? I don't even know. Oh, here we go. Okay, now make cannons. And we'll make the nexus here as well. And then make like a couple of these things. Yeah, I bet she thinks she's helping right now. Let's just smile and nod. It's just like the fleet of carriers in the back. Void entities detected. Marking their location. They are heading towards our nexus point now. Ow. Ow. I should probably just kill these things. This is not even worth our time. Yo, can you guys not fucking do that? Purifier forces, head out and support our hierarchs warriors. Yes, do that. All right, we can lose like we can lose like four probes. Fuck probes. Because we that that's another carrier we could possibly have right now. This guy can live. <laughs> so we get we eventually get to this point where it's just like yeah, how do we make more uh, carriers? Well, good fucking luck. Dark Templar, strike with great fury. Oh, this guy stopped following us. Okay, good good job. We'll just go up into here somewhere. Where's my other where's my other arbiter? Okay, that's one. The remaining shards are bleeding void energy. Approaching them will be extremely dangerous. Oh good, our probe's died. Thank goodness. Amon's downfall is at hand. Taldarim, your high lord demands the dark god's blood. Do not disappoint me. All three forward positions have been secured, Artanis. Now, let us bring an end to Amon. Yeah, I decided to speed this one out because we want to have our full force. Unmitigated chaos. That was this ship. Excellent, you take that for us. All right, we're just gonna go straight to it. I 
And it's toast. Victory nears, my brothers. Fight with all you have. Actually, I don't even need to do anything. Actually, that kind of hurts. Warriors, ignite your blades. We take this fight to Amon himself. Actually, I totally could have recalled these carriers over. It just occurred to me. This is as victory fleet as it gets, guys. I'm getting, I'm getting all nostalgic for uh, the Starcraft one now. The way I beat every mission. Oh my god, they're trolling me now. They're making it so I can't attack the photon cannon. It's my... I don't know why these guys decide to stop following him around. Because none of my carriers are dying, so... Who the hell up here? They're getting stunned or something. Alright. Alright, let's just focus down the void shard. All of our hopes, guys. dropping. Amon's host has been destroyed. Ready the keystone, Karax. Our final stand approaches. Amon? More like easy. Hey, yeah, just fucking dud. Uh, destroy a void chart with the assistance of a, your allied portal's forces. We did that. And destroy two void charts within 150 seconds. I'm pretty sure we did that too. surprised my people, Hierarch. They knew little of the bravery of the Templar. Some are even impressed by it. They have fought nobly, Alarak. I am honored that they stand with me. They admire your conviction and brutality. And if we are victorious this day, will they continue to stand with me? If I will it. But now is not the time to muse upon future things. Not when my vengeance awaits. You seem troubled by so much loss, Hierarch. How could one not be? But the brooding you sense is only concern for the task at hand. To convince our people that they must shed what they hold most sacred. You convinced me. I, who held the Kala above all else. You knew the risk that connection was presenting to us. Indeed. Though I seldom knew his possession, each was horrifying. I bore silent witness to the mockery he made of me. I cannot imagine the suffering they have experienced below. The release they must yearn for. Can you sense the hope, Matriarch? I do. If we succeed, we will have a new chance to forge the unified society we strove for on Shakuris. We will preserve the traditions of the Nerezim. They will not be forgotten. In time, they may be. I fear losing our old ways, Artanis. But as we've worked with the Taldarim and the Purifiers, I now see that it is inevitable. Traditions must change as we do. A day may come when we leave behind the Shadow Walk. 
Just as you have abandoned the Kala and the caste system. That is the price we must pay to become truly one people. So I have come to believe. Hierarch, it is done. The Zelnaga Keystone is ready for deployment. Indeed. However, the duration of the effect still deeply concerns me. It is our only option. We must believe that there will be enough time to speak reason. No matter what happens, if we die, we all die Templar. And I thank you for that. For your faith in me. It has been my eternal honor to serve you, Hierarch. I have been blessed to truly get to know you, Artanis. To call you friend. Not just because of memory, but through experience. Our journey is not yet over, friend Phoenix. If we win this day, know that the glory of building a new civilization lies ahead, and I will need you to help me do it. It is a task I greatly look forward to. But I no longer wish to be called by the name Phoenix. Oh? I am honored to choose my own name. It will be Talendar. Talendar. One who bears a strong heart. A fitting name. So it shall be. Fucking Talendar. It actually changes the name and everything. Like, the attention to detail. Like, deploy Talendar now. Fucking hell. That name. Alright, guys. I... As you can tell, we're getting near the end of this whole run. Uh, I hope you're enjoying it so far. Uh, clearly you have if you're up to here. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.